keep doing? I fuck, I fucked it up. <laughs> it's like the Stranger Things theme song was so fucking quiet. Alright, hello everybody, welcome to the Laffy is Optional podcast. We, okay, first topic that we need to talk about is Stranger Things. We can't not talk about Stranger Things. Yeah, I think it's a pretty shit show. Is <laughs> that what I heard like two days ago from you? <laughs> Real what? Dude, about two days ago, you were oh, raving about what it. Oh, what are you talking about, Jack? <laughs> the awesome no, show, great Stranger show. Things? It's a great show. It's a great show. Okay. You know what shirt I'm wearing right now? What? Stranger Things shirt. What, you already have a Stranger Things shirt? Yeah, do you want me to share my webcam so you can see it? Yeah, sure, but why do you already have it's one, though? It's hot, because I love the show. Uh, oh my god, that's dope as fuck, dude. And there's that, and there's that. That's and sexy. There's... Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. So we, all right. Let's let's do this like we did Suicide Squad. Uh, favorite moments from the show. Uh, let me think about this. That's like all of them. Is that a choice? No, let me think about this. Uh, I, I loved when L, uh, saved, uh, Dustin and Mike from the bullies. That was pretty dank. That I loved when uh I love when Mike kissed L on my fantasies. Ew, no, I that no gross. I didn't like that. I didn't like no, no. What's your favorite scene? Uh. Shit, yeah. man. Oh, God. I, okay, I loved, I loved when they, when, uh, Nancy, Jonathan, and Steve fought the monster oh, that in was the house. Epic. That, was, that was awesome. I, cause, like, I just love that sense of, um, intensity when Steve showed up out of nowhere, and they were telling him to get out, but then the monster showed up. Like, that whole thing was just so cool to me. I was, like, 100% sure he was gonna get killed when he was walking yeah, out. Yeah, me too. I thought, like, he's gonna... I'm happy that he didn't. Yeah, I mean... I hated him in the beginning of the show, I really did, but, um, I mean, yeah, I, yeah, no. around the end, after he got his ass whooped by Jonathan, good job, Jonathan. That was, um, that was a nice scene. It was, but after he got his ass whooped, he was, like, nice, because he realized what he was doing wrong, <laughs> so that was- Yeah, I liked all the scenes where everyone got ass whooped, that was pretty cool. I know, every scene where somebody got their ass whooped was, was awesome. Um, Another thing I loved, when the monster showed up at the school, that was also really cool. Basically, in a scene with the monster where any intense stuff is happening, the fucking chase down the road with the uh, uh, flipping bicycles, the van. yeah, flipping the van, that was awesome. I was, when I was watching that, I was like, I was really worried there was going to be a complete E.T. ripoff and fly over the van. Me and the too! Was just, I was just like, please don't fly over the van, F please don't fly over the van, please don't fly, fly over the van, and I thought they were going to do it, and then she flipped the van, and I was like, Yes, thanks. <laughs> that's a better, that's a better thing. <laughs> people yeah. died, yay. Yay, people died, explosions, woo! Oh wait, no, sorry, if we're uploading this to YouTube, we can't talk about that. <gasps> no, we don't. We'll, we'll go into that later. We'll that later. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, I went in the school where she killed everybody by like, like, crushing them from the inside. That, that was badass, so fucking awesome. So yeah, Stranger Things was a really, really good show. I thought it was great. I can't wait for season two. Which yeah, is gonna be dope. Out. So, okay, um, I brought up the YouTube thing earlier. I think we should probably put in our two cents about that. What do you th What do you think of the new YouTube policies? <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. I'm really happy that they're uh, making it more kid friendly. <laughs> so I can have a broader audience to enjoy YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> when your channel is so like rated R. <laughs> no, it's not. I, I could. I've showed my five-year-old cousin my channel and his mother, and they loved it. But you cuss a lot, man. No, I don't. I've never cursed a single time. You in my never. Videos. You made a. You made a video called Paradox Curses in Steven Universe. What are you talking about, Jack? It's a <laughs> lie. Okay, so the new YouTube policies only. Stop spreading facetious facts, Jack. The new. The new YouTube policies only really like uh, affect people that. That live off of YouTube like ha like YouTube is their job but it's such bullshit though like they're just trying to make YouTube into this like G rated G world it's so stupid I'm not really sure how much of an effect this will have on the audience because I've heard a lot of things happening where uh, a lot of people have been talking about how before this happened um, they were actually getting stuff like this happen well, yeah them. they were they like, were you know, like even before this happened like like a year ago people were like if they put like dick in their tags they get less money but youtube just wouldn't tell them oh but, wow that's cheap dude yeah i know i'm not sure if that's true i've just well, seen a few videos of people saying stuff like that but if they did just introduce this uh i am pretty sure that enough youtubers would be able to get a uh, audience on patreon to be able to keep making content 
Yeah, that is true, but it's like... like a like a what's the Dragon Ball Z channel? Uh, Team Four Star. They don't get any money off of YouTube, but they're able to all uh, have a decent amount of money from a uh, Patreon. I think one of the worst things about it is how badly it was implemented. Because if all of a sudden they uh they just did it, did away with everything, it would have made more sense. But at this point, there are so many YouTubers that like uh like I don't even I don't even have anything against these YouTubers. I watch these YouTubers, but like uh H3 H3 and I had everything. Uh, two YouTubers that do like that do curse a lot and have definitely like are would be under this both of them have had like two videos unmonetized and it's been such a s strange sketchy thing how they're not really unmonetizing them they're just unmonetizing very strange videos like with IG I remember he said the two videos that got unmonetized on his channel were the little pan um, destroying the little panda fighter a video where he destroys DVDs of a really bad movie and an a, a unlisted stream announcement video <laughs> when every single one of his videos has <laughs> or harassment to terrible movies it just baffles me all right so what is one of your uh, topics dude Let's talk about strange ways you ate food. Actually, let's start with the peeled versus unpeeled. God damn. No, everybody <laughs> is going to go stop, on my side. Stop, you are stop, the only- No, 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 no shut, Let me. Shut, Let me. Shut, stop. Shut. stop. <laughs> okay. So, one day, I was going to my house. Well, Jack was going to my house. He was breaking my house. And I said, hey, man, do you want a bar? Because I'm so gracious. He's like, oh, yeah, sure. So I gave him a bar. And he unwrapped it, but kept the little bar wrapper in his hand, started eating it. And then I took out the bar and threw away the wrapper because it's really annoying to have to, like, unpeel a little bit every five seconds then walk all the way down the hall to throw away the wrapper. It's much more efficient to be able to just eat it and have, like, not have to take a break after doing something for five minutes because oh man i have this wrapper we're leaving God, a wrapper you're so sitting lazy around. you can't just walk the trash can is directly outside your room directly outside yeah, well, your room. it's more it's not about laziness it's about efficientness okay you know what in the comments below everyone who's watched this please comment hashtag wrapped or hashtag unwrapped to be able to join the war okay okay but, but okay just okay so he eats he eats bars but he completely takes off the wrapper i can understand that for bars kind of but I have never in my life seen somebody, except for you, take the entire peel off of a banana and just eat the banana like that. Never in my life have ever seen it. I, I, ha everybody eats it, but just in cartoons and movies, everything, everybody just peels it halfway and then eats from there. So that way your hands don't get very messy. That's because they're idiots. That's because they're idiots. They don't no, eat they're trying to get their hands so messy so they can keep working. Let me continue with my argument. Okay, fine. Yeah, please. I think you are an imbecile, Jack, because, um, so when you're, let's compare this fight. Bananas versus wrappers. Mm -hmm. When you unwrap a banana, what gets on your hands? What phantom virus banana are you feeling on your hands? When I do it, there is literally nothing there afterwards because it's a banana. When I have like, when I eat a granola bar, like sometimes if I eat it, if it takes too slow to eat, it will get like, I don't know, melted chocolate on my hands. I'll lick it off and then wipe it off on my shirt. Wipe off my spit on my shirt. It's disgusting. I know. I have, I have a very weird but uh, why hygiene say thing, so banana, I have to wash my hands. Why do you say the bananas are better than, or why do you say bananas are worse than eating a bar? Because bananas make such a little mess compared to bars that make a kind of decent amount. Right, of but there's like this little grainy shit that comes off of bananas on you. It's like the like the I don't really know how to explain it, but like buying your bananas if there's little grainy shit. Well, on no, your it's like you know there's like the strings that come off of the banana, and the banana has the this kind of weird, huh? No. Yes. I've never had a banana that left any kind of residue on my hands. All right. Uh, next topic. 10 things you may not know about ourselves. Why don't you go first? I have four pets. Uh, one of them is a beagle, um, a bagwawa, beagle chihuahua mix. His name is Twitch. Uh, one of them is a lab mix. His name is Mahoney. One of them is a pit. Her name is Abby. And one of them is a leopard gecko. Her name is Leopard because I named her when I was five and I was a genius. All right, my very first fact is um, I haven't had my natural hair color in years. I have not stopped coloring my hair for a very, very long time. Last time I had my hair blonde, I wanna say, I had it blonde for like maybe a month. 
I want to say in 2014, but that was only for like a month, and then. Wait, Jack, your hair is blonde? Yeah, my re my regular hair is blonde. What? Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, he's never seen me with my natural hair. It's always been colored in some. Way. I always thought it was like kind of like light brown. Yeah, my roots are light brown, but the more it grows out, the lighter it gets. Yeah. Do you know what color my natural hair is? Yes, brown. It's like almost black. Yeah, almost black. It's I've seen your natural hair color. So there's my first fact. Go ahead, uh, Az Azurai. Azurai? <laughs> you have um, taken all the steps required to be a commentary YouTuber. Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna actually talk about that video. This could be my next fact. Uh, if you haven't seen that, uh, go to my channel. Link will be in the description, I think. And my most recent video is called The Cancer of YouTube. I don't even want to explain what it's about because it would take too long. But, uh, at the beginning, I had this really long, uh, like, skit, I guess, where I ascended to heaven, and I got shot, and then I fell into hell, and I had to watch Family Guy. Oh, you got shot? I didn't realize that's what that was. I thought you fell. There's a gunshot. There's a gunshot. Oh, you're right, but it wasn't very- never mind, just go on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and I remember I recorded it originally so that it was, like, a version of myself talking to myself, but- it sounded really awkward. I it, it was just so cringy. It was like, "Hello, Azurai. What?" <laughs> it was one of the worst things I've ever made. So I went back in and I used a uh, a text to speech engine to do the voice, which was a. Uh, I think it turned out better that way. I didn't have any. Yeah, I, I thought it was good. I actually really liked the voice that that you used. Yeah, I sound like a depressed teenager. Okay, next fact about me. I have a dog. He is a Chihuahua Pekingese mix, we think. We got him. Does he look like a Taco Bell dog? Yeah, he kind of does look like the Taco Bell doll. Do you, dog. Do you buy him so you could uh, so you could sacrifice him to the Taco Bell master? I didn't even know about the Taco Bell dog until we years later after we got him. But um, okay, so we dog Chihuahua Pekingese mix. Um, we think we got him from a shelter. Uh, when he was on death, death row, which means he was about to get killed the next day by the pound people. Very sad. But he's a he's an old doggy, and I think he's really cute, but he is kind of ugly. He's, he's wall-eyed and shit. Um, but our name for him is Fred. But it, that's, name Yoda. that's not That was one of our suggestions. But that's not his full name. His actual full name is Fucked Up Fred. Because when we got him, he was so screwed up, he had almost no hair on his back, and um, his balls just got chopped off, and his whole business was sort of hanging really low on the ground before it shrunk back up. So it was like, everything was really messed up, so we called him Fucked Up Fred, and that's his full name. So, there is my <laughs> next fact. <laughs> Go ahead, Asher. I don't actually think this, I don't think I've ever said this on the internet, but I am a uh, vegetarian. Oh, you're a vegetarian. So am I. Yeah, I guess that can be your next fact, too. <laughs> uh, how old were you when you became a, a vegetarian? Uh, all my life. All your life? Mm -hmm. uh, actually, a pretty interesting story about it. What happened was, I was like, I, I, I this is gonna be some paraphrasing, because I don't really remember the full story, but I was like five, or I was like two, actually, and my mom was like uh, giving me, uh, she was like making dinner for me, and I was like, uh, what's, it, what, what's this food called? Because I was a little uh, smart two-year-old who had new words. And she was like, "Oh, it's called chicken." And I'm like, "Like the ant, like um, like the animal." And she was like, "Yeah." And I was like, uh, "Does that mean it was alive? Does that mean it was alive?" And she was like, "Oh yeah." I was like, "I don't want to eat that. I, I don't want to hurt." I said, "I think I said I don't want to hurt it." Here's a story for you. Here's my vegetarian story. Okay. Yeah. So it's not really a story, but I just remember this, and this is what really made my decision that fake bacon is better because I went to my uh, brother's work and I stayed with him. Uh, for his work, he worked at this like place that's kind of like Subway called Great Wraps. It's like a burrito Subway type thing. And I one day stayed with him there, and I just stayed in the back the whole day. And at one point, they set down this giant fucking plate of bacon right in front of me throughout the entire day. And the smell was so strong and so horrendous in my nose the entire day, I wanted to puke. And that right there would just made me think, okay, yeah, no, I, I fake bacon is way better. I don't ever want to go near regular bacon ever again. So. Yeah, vegetarian I think is better, and um, you know, Taco Bell offers a great selection of vegetarian stuff, so yay. Taco Bell is pretty bad though. I know, but I love Taco Bell, because you can request stuff without beef and just add refried beans, and that's what I do, and it's like fucking amazing. Alright, next fact for you, go. Chipotle is better. Chipotle, oh dude, Chipotle is amazing. I haven't had that in two years, I miss it so much. Oh, 
Actually, I haven't. I don't think I've said this on this channel. I've said this on my last channel. I don't think I've said this on this channel. Uh, Asher is not my name. My name is uh, Ezra, but I go by Asher. It's my middle name. I think it, I like it more. Okay, what started my uh, craze of metal, because I love metal music, the, the thing that started it was this band called Avenged Sevenfold. That band started the whole thing because my brothers got really into it, and then I started listening to it, and then after that, it just went in this huge spiral of metal bands, and I, ever since then, I've just loved metal music. It's my favorite type of music. Uh, rap and dubstep is also a, a good, but, um... Oh my god, I hate metal. dubstep. Uh, my two favorite artists of all time are Madion and Porter Robinson. I'm seeing her joint tour in September. Ooh, that sounds like it's gonna be a lot of fucking fun. Oh, here's a good fact. One of the very first YouTubers that I can remember that I fir very first started watching was this YouTuber called Minnesota Burns. That was my shit back in the day. He made these... Shitty COD trolling videos. Right, but they were amazing back then. And they still are. I think they're hilarious. You might not like them, but a bunch of people do. But I don't know what happened. Now it's Minnesota pranks, and they make these terrible Call of Duty videos and nobody watches. Somehow Wait, they, didn't they sell out to, like, top five channels? Yeah, they, like, he sold his channel to... Now it's kind of like... It kind of seems like a gaming collab channel, but nobody likes them. Nobody likes them. Everybody's just like watching and giving dislikes, and they get like a th eleven thousand views a video. Maybe a, a good fact would be, I've been doing YouTube since two thousand eleven. Really? Huh? I've only been doing my, it since uh, two thousand fifteen. I made terrible skits, and I was nine years old. It was terrible. Don't watch. Look, I'm just gonna send you my uh, old channel description, so you uh. It was spelled so badly. From wired and stupidish Mario videos to Halloris crazy kid vids, guess who? ME! If you're not allowed to hear crap, shut up, or heck, then scram. Seriously? Yeah. None of those are cuss words whatsoever. No, I don't, no, I don't count those cuss words whatsoever. Shut up, crap, really? Heck? Heck, man. Okay, so this is gonna be, uh... It's going to sound like a throwback to our old uh, geeky podcast, Geeky People Podcast. <laughs> but Halloween is coming up, motherfuckers. Fuck you. <laughs> Halloween. Podcast all time. Halloween is coming up, and I am so excited. I don't know about you, but I am so excited for Halloween. If you're still in town, are you still going to dress up as a Mor Mor Rick? Yeah, uh, if I'm in town, me and Asher plan on cosplaying as Rick and Morty. But if we're not, I'm gonna go as the Suicide Squad Joker. I'm gonna look all gangster Suicide and shit. Suicide Squad. <laughs> Suicide Squad. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, what, what would, what is something that you would like to cosplay as if you aren't gonna do like a, a group cosplay thing? I have no idea. How about um Harley Quinn? Fuck, I hate, I hate that movie. I love Marvel. Harley Rock. Quinn. Yeah. Harley movie. Quinn. Why would I just be Harley Quinn? Just wear like, just wear like booty shorts. <laughs> wear booty shorts. <laughs> Walk around with a baseball bat, dude. That'd be so fucking hilarious. Just, I would love to see a picture of you in booty shorts, wear it with a baseball bat and your hair and ponytails. <laughs> What's a YouTuber you just found out about recently that you love? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Wolfie Raps is one for me. Wolfie Raps is he good? I, I think he's good. I, you're not gonna like him, but I think he's good. He's very energetic and very funny. His video, Sourest Drink in the World, was my favorite. Also that in Breaking World Records, that was another one that was really funny to me. For me, it's Vox. Vox? I saw them recently and they're great. Who's Vox? Uh, I, it's like, I don't know how to explain them, because when I explain them, it sounds really stupid. They're like BuzzFeed, kind of. But like, they're like a website. That well, I love them, BuzzFeed. But they're, <laughs> they're, but they're really good. They make like legitimately really good videos. Uh, I'll study some. Like they make like really interesting videos, like uh, how Stranger Things got its intro sequence. Uh, and, like they they just like kind of a uh, like the natural labor on your food is uh, false. It's kind of like deconstruct things. It's really interesting to watch. You do the outro. Goodbye. The fuck was that? What did you expect? What the fuck? What? A robot. What? Robot voice. I, I, I don't. <laughs> get the fuck out. Oh, okay, I get it now. End the fucking podcast. I don't want to. You are a scrub. Okay.